Okay, so today we're going to be talking about three videos that I recorded and messed up royally on. Now, I was recording a lot of videos in one day. Um, this one, the very first one, the very first video that I'm showing is more of a camera issue. I was messing around with my new setup. The angle changes like three or four times. Uh, the very first angle is really bad. You can see the hand is blocking what I'm drawing, so you can't see what, it's, what I'm drawing. And this happens a lot, I see in videos. Now this isn't something I would normally post. And I've been trying to really work on my camera angles, because if you've seen any of my other videos, I have some really weird angles. So, I, over the course of these three mess up videos, I do kind of get more of an idea of what I'm doing with my camera and my setup to give you guys a better experience. Um, but this video was mostly a mess up because of the camera thing. And, and for the sake of having three horrible speed draws and the sake of how I messed them up, I did not edit out anything. So you can see the camera here is shaking really bad. Uh, it's, it's not good. <laughs> not at all. So the picture itself isn't very bad. Uh, later on in the video we'll have some where I, don't, I wouldn't normally post it because the picture's not good. Um, but this picture here, I'm, I, I don't really dislike it. I mean, it's not my favorite. I don't know where I'm coming up with this idea, but that's just kind of how my doodle art goes. Um, but yeah, so this was pretty much camera angle. It's not pe pleasing to look at, and the camera is shaking an awful lot, which is a big mistake I see a lot of speed artists do, is the camera shaking. Alright, so for this next one, it actually started off really good. I, besides the fact that the camera, I, I didn't center the camera, I really liked the first half of this video. Uh, this was my second attempt at Venom. The first one actually went really well, but I didn't record it. <laughs> I, I thought I was recording, and it turned out I wasn't. Another mistake. But... I decided to redraw it and see if I could redraw it, draw it even better on camera, and at first it was going really good. I really like the way the sketch goes for this. Um, I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure uh, where I'm going with a lot of things. I, I tend to go off the seat of my set, my pants. I, I do use references, but I, I try not to use them for a whole bunch. Otherwise, the picture ends up looking way too much like the original, and that's not kosher. So I start looking at references, and then I end up finishing not looking at references. And sometimes I end up with a really awesome piece. Other times, I do something like I do with this. I get a really awesome piece going. I really like it. Like, I really like this Venom, and looking at it makes me want to cry because what I'm about to do to it. I ruin this piece. I ruin it so bad. I really liked the sketch. I liked the position. I liked the dynamic pose. I liked the definition in the muscles. And now I'm gonna fuck it up. First thing I did was I did... I grabbed the wrong brush and I just start going to town. And then it wasn't so bad that then I just decide I'm going to try inking in the muscles and then I don't follow the muscles and then I try and cover it up with gray thinking that I could go back over with white that doesn't work so I take a red and that that red is uh yeah no I'm sorry I'm sorry Venom yeah I did not do this justice in coloring at all I fucked it up the second I started coloring it and you can see I gave up. <laughs> Alright, so this last piece, I actually go all the way and finish it. But, and the recording of it isn't actually that bad. Yeah, I could probably scoop my sketchbook up a little bit. Um, I'm also noticing there's a lot of shaking still. Um, so there's still some issues with my setup I gotta work out. But, 
for the most part, this piece actually, I, I go from start to finish. It didn't really, I wasn't feeling it. I recorded this the same day I recorded my Venom. This was the next piece after I messed up the other one, and I was trying to do a doodle piece to get myself out of this funk that I had found myself in. Uh, funk was still there. I was rushing really bad. Like, I, this is eight times the speed, so I'm still drawing pretty fast. Which isn't too bad when I get to sketching, but I don't slow down as I go along. I actually speed up. And, and that's when I make the most of my mistakes. Uh, when it comes to art, there's no time limit. Um, I, I have some really good pieces that I'm really proud of, but they all took me over 12 hours or this long, and that's a really common thing. Like, this piece took me so long, that piece took me so long. This one did not take me that long. This one took me, like, 45 minutes, when it was actually supposed to be probably, if I would have taken my time, like a three-hour piece. Uh, it doesn't look too bad at the moment. You can kind of see that I'm frustrated. I keep dragging my sketchbook out of the frame. Uh, my vape pen is just fucking lying there. Oh, excuse my language. It's just lying there. It's not. It, it, it's not too bad at the moment, but I the tension is building and I'm starting to speed up in a portion where I should technically be slowing down. It's always better to slow down during your inking. It gets cleaner lines. You don't want to go too slow because then you'll get sketchy lines. But right now I'm going so fast that you're like the lines are overlapping the wrong way. I'm not following the pencil right. It is. Uh, that's where my frustration started to show a little bit. I wasn't happy with the sketch before I inked it. That's another issue. You shouldn't ink something you're not happy with because as a sketch you can fix it. Once it's inked you can't. And then, frustrated, I just started slapping watercolor on it everywhere. Uh, it, it builds. <laughs> and it's not necessarily a good build. I mean, it's not too bad at this point, but I am I keep going faster and faster and faster, which is something I do when I'm frustrated with a piece, but all I want to do is finish it. it. And finishing pieces is a good thing. You, you kind of want to try and finish a piece even if you're not happy with it, but there's no shame in putting it down and taking a step back if you're frustrated. If you're just going to rush the piece and you're going to just slap things together until you can call it finished, then you're not doing any better as if you just put a half finished sketch down. So when you start reaching a peak of frustration with a drawing, it's good to just stop. Um, I did not do that with this. I, I did not at all. Slowing down is important and finishing pieces are important. Like, I didn't even slow down to let the watercolor dry. You can see that the brush pen that I'm going over is mixing with the paint. And I, at some point, I turned the camera off to attempt to let it dry, but I didn't really let it dry because I filled in that black, black space off camera while it was wet and smeared everything even more. And, and when I start filling in the background black, that that is me trying to get rid of the white space as quickly as possible, which does not always go according to plan. So yeah, I, I mean, the best thing I can do, the best advice I could give someone who's struggling with frustration in their art is tell them to take a deep, deep breath and take a break. And I'm not talking about stop doing art for a long time. I mean, go get a cup of coffee. If you smoke cigarettes, go smoke a cigarette. Uh, don't keep destroying your art. It, it's, it's a good time to put it down if you find yourself speeding through it and destroying things. And that is a big thing. You need to take the time to check your camera. You need to take the time to slow down and make sure what you're doing is good. Don't just rush head first into things. Art takes time.
thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Uh, usually I just play music in the background, once in a while I talk. Um, I'm going to be posting every Wednesday and Sunday from for the foreseeable future. I eventually want to post more than that, but for now that's what I can handle. Thank you, and see you next time.